must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm, is there something beyond this room? What's happening? Rebellion. I've seen this before. Gringotts and the restricted section. Where am I? Oh no. The room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability to see traces of ancient magic yes sir i do 
As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Rebellion. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Revelio. Lumos. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Accio. Rebellion. charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom.
Revelio. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, Fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school This will take property. some getting used to. I want them returned in one piece. Ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! <sighs> that wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I say. 
day I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough! Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky.
Hogs meet, here I come. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place. Rebellion. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in... You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then. Back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps. Well, you weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with a you one's darker. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many. Sounds quite. What are we looking for today? Nice doing business with you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their... You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say... Go on. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I, I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the... What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can... As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom... ...an ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, I could complete work on my first upgrade. Why do you need me to report to you? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her... Difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate, he's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about... If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be in... How long have you had a passion for... Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre... Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and... I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know. 
Sounds as if you took. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this. With your help, I can continue proving myself. That sounds intriguing. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade or the time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pit. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. It's a good thing we have all of them. Thank you. My advice when deep. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Rebellion. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village service. You said. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't... You want me to follow the... I do, yes. What were the horrible stories? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysterious. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old. Very well. Oh, how kind. Students these days have... You can usually find me right around here. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringe. How nice to see you, my young friend. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies. we have here.
Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? The Ministry's good work. Say it again. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butter. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed... Oh, how lovely! I'm... <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring... For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something... <laughs> 